students today we will learn about fractions and decimals learning outcomes how to represent fractions as decimals fractions and decimal numbers are simply two different ways of representing numbers that are less than one since any number below one can be represented with either a fraction or a decimal fraction what is fraction in mathematics a fraction is a number that represents a part of a whole it consists of a numerator and a denominator the numerator represents the number of equal parts of a whole while the denominator is the total number of parts that make up a whole for example a pizza might be cut into eight pieces the, the denominator for the pizza then would be eight the numerator represents a part or parts of the whole one slice of the whole pizza would be represented by the numerator one what is a decimal a decimal number can be defined as a number whose whole number part and the fractional part is separated by a decimal point the dot in a decimal number is called a decimal point the digits following the decimal point show a value smaller than 1 34.7 how to convert fractions to decimals a fraction is made up of two parts a numerator and a denominator it is used to represent how many parts we have out of the total number of parts the line in a fraction that separates the numerator and denominator can be rewritten using the division symbol so to convert a fraction to a decimal divide the numerator by the denominator if required you can use a calculator to do this this will give us our answer as a decimal for example 1 upon 2 3 upon 4 2 upon 5 1 upon 20 and 3 upon 25 can all be written in decimal form this is because the denominator of each of these fractions is a factor of 10 or of 100 let's explore 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 has a denominator which is a factor of 10 2 divided by 10 equals 5 2 multiplied by 5 equals 10 to turn 1 upon 2 into a decimal we must first change into equivalent fraction with denominator 10 well to go from half to tenths you have to multiply the denominator by 5 so let's multiply the numerator by 5 as well multiply 1 by 5 and 2 by 5 equals 5 upon 10 in order to represent into decimal divide 5 by 10 which is equal to 0 0.5 let's explore 3 upon 4 3 upon 4 has a denominator which is a factor of 100 100 divided by 4 equals 25 4 multiplied by 25 equals 100 to turn 3 upon 4 into a decimal we must first change into equivalent fraction with denominator 100 well to go from 3 fourths to hundredths you have to multiply the denominator and numerator by 25 3 multiplied by 25 and 4 multiplied by 25 equals 7 upon 100 in order to represent into decimal divide 75 by 100 which is equal to 0 0.75 how to convert fractions to decimal by using place value chart 2 upon 10 this is the 10th place so 2 needs to be in the 10th place 0 0.2 23 upon 100 this is the 100th place so 3 needs to be in the 100th place 0 0.23 converting fractions to decimal using division Think of a fraction as a math problem. The easiest way to convert a fraction to a decimal is to read the fraction as if it were a division problem. 
with the number on the top being divided by the number on the bottom. The fraction 2 upon 3, for example, can be stated as 2 divided by 3. Summary A fraction is made up of two parts, a numerator and a denominator. It is used to represent how many parts we have out of the total number of parts. The line in a fraction that separates the numerator and denominator can be rewritten using the division symbol. To convert a fraction to a decimal, divide the numerator by the denominator. If required, you can use a calculator to do this. This will give us our answer as decimal. Example, 4 upon 5 as decimal is 4 divided by 5 equals 0 0.8. Hope you will learn the concept. Goodbye. See you next time.